Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Uh, on today's show, we are going to be taking a look at a, a Wax and Wayne deck. It's an assassin deck. It's mostly aggro, but it can play as a mid-range uh, to defend against other aggro decks. Uh, I call it Wax on, Wax off. <laughs> Um, just a quick peek over the deck. We've got Crown, Quartermaster, Lunar Sway, Moongate, uh, Frazzled, Alphic, Ice Spike, Mournhold Traitor, Sedanine Courier, Shrieking Harpy, Cartel, Arcanist, Corner Club Gambler, Moonface, Sathai, uh, Galtfang, Adept, Lightning Bolt, Cliff Racer, uh, Corinth Brawler, Alphic Conjurer, Razum Dar, Uncarno, and Tazkad. Um, as I said before, it's mostly an aggro deck. It could very well fit into um, the burn assassin deck, although we don't have many uh, burn like actions and stuff. But with Luna, uh, Sway, and Moongate, and all the other Wax and Wayne creatures, you can pull off something really, really crazy. Um, to be accurate, accurate, we will place this deck in tempo. Uh, tempo Assassin, because it behaves like a tempo. Um, so what it does, well, um, you've got Frazzled uh, Alphic, which uh, on Wax deal 1 damage, Wayne plus 1 plus 1. After you play another card, Wax deal 1 damage. Or after you play another card, Wayne plus 1 plus 1. If you get two of these babies on the board and you start pulling off like Moongate and other um, Wax and Wayne creatures, uh, you pretty much set up for uh, <laughs> a nice game. Uh, that is, you can uh, buff them, you can deal damage, and you can do all sorts of things. Now, Crown, Quart uh, Crown Quartermaster's um, um, uh, Steel Dagger can be used with Corner Club Gambler. Um, of course, you also have like some more card drawing mechanisms on uh, Gut Fang Adept, draw a card, or plus one, plus one, and guard. It plays really, really well. So, uh, in any case, if you run out of steam, you can always use Razumdar. You break a rune, you draw your opponent's card. Uh, your opponent still draws the card, but you also draw it, a copy of it, that is. And if it survives the turn, when you end the turn and your opponent draws another card, you will also gain that card as well. So, Razumdar is pretty sweet in the deck. Kano is for extra reach, uh, combined with Lightning Bolts. Tascad is also used for extra reach, Oop, low, <laughs> low battery. Um, so, um, we also have two Alpha Conjurers. So, how do these two copies work? Well, in one instance, when you summon one, you will get um, a Flame Atronach. So, if that gets removed, the second instance of the card, you will consume that Flame Atronach and you will spawn a 7-5 Warded Storm Atronach, so it's pretty good. Uh, Luna Sway helps a lot in uh, proccing Frazzled Alphic, um, and uh, don't forget about Corinthy Brawler. Not many use it, but it's a pretty, pretty good card. I'd say in the decent ranks of, um, of um, Wax and Wayne, so you have like plus one, plus one, and um, your opponent can't target it with actions. Or gain one magic at a turn for each enemy creature in this lane. So you can use that with Moongate, and uh, you can basically, if you're fighting against a token deck, uh, you can overthrow the board um, by summoning more stuff because you will gain four magic up, and it'll also be um, immune to actions. So this is the deck. Um, you could fit, um, I don't know something else please let me know if you if you kind of think of something else that could fit well in the deck and could synergize with all these stuff um say that works well cliff racer extra reach you name it you got it so this is the deck let's uh let's take it on the ladder um we are a couple of uh wins away from uh, reaching legends we are in rank one so um let's have some fun so did the dishes watch some streams see what people are playing these days and now we are entering in force we're playing against an imperial deck i'll keep freaking harpy 
Oh, that's good. That's very good. I can use Crown Quartermaster. And use the Steel Dagger with Corner Club Gambler the next turn. It's going to be pretty hard to remove. Oh, scratch that. We could still play Corner Club Gambler. But I'm leaving that field lane unattended. So we'll have to use the Steel Dagger and remove that Barrel Stalker. Most unfortunate. Oh, still I guess. Could place Corner Club Gambler next turn. Looks like a control Imperial by the looks of it. Since there's uh, fighting against uh, control, we won't be needing freaking RP that much. Ah, uh, damn it. We have to throw something, and we will throw uh, the. Cartel Arcanist. We're keeping those five cost creatures because we might need them soon enough. Oh, so it's a Dragon Imperial deck. Interesting. Lunas Way. Doesn't help me that much. This baby doesn't help me that much either. What to do here? We're definitely going to trade into that dragon. But I think it's pretty decent that we get a um, Frazzledalfic. Lunas White, and uh, we place down the two costs. And that's it. Maybe it was not the best, uh, the best play, but it's pretty good that we have two creatures on the board. Ah. Uh, Another Frazzadalfic. I'll have to use the um, Cliff Racer to deal with that Thornhist Mage. This only gets buffed. I can get a buff though. If I play Cliff Racer and pop a Ring Charge and use the Frazzled. That should give me enough damage to continue on uh, with my tempo game. Let's drop this baby. Both of them will get buffed, so that's good. <laughs> Let's see what my opponent will drop. Another Revere Guardian. Alright. Curses. Interesting build. Uh, I'll have to use the brawler. And this would will give me a five five creature on the board. Uh, both of the Frazzadolphic will trigger. Uh, will deal the two damage into the um, Revered Guardian. <laughs> I love that animation. So we have five damage left to spare and uh, heading straight for face. 
Fortunately, my opponent will trade here. It's the only good option my opponent has. Removing that Frazadalfic and uh, with that curse, he'll probably use it on the 3 3. Yep, can't target Brawler, mate. <laughs> can't be targeted by actions. But it can be removed of the um, um, area of effect actions, such as uh, Ice Storms, Debilitates, um, Don's Wrath. Ouch. Shit Point Dragon. Oh, and this is going to leave me with just one more. <laughs> oh, boy. Gout Fang Adept. So it will gain guard. But for now, I want to draw some cards. That was the last mistake you will ever make. Edict. We got an edict. That means so did my opponent. So my opponent currently just drew Edict and Thorn His Mage. He's standing at 10 Magicka. And I'm just down to 8. 9 next 10. Edict on Razumdar. And we'll probably see the Thorn His Mage. Yep, that's right. Uh, ooh, that is actually great. If we can connect, we have 8 damage from hand with 9 Magicka. Problem is, if I use Edict. I will be able to deal two damage. Oh, uh, sorry, just one damage to face. Uh, and let's put Thorn His Mage into the uh, Shadow Lane. Your storm is no match for <laughs> oh, man. If if Thorn his mage would have survived, that would have been lethal for sure. Uh, and we currently do have lethal thanks to Seda. So that's uh, 4 damage plus 3, 8 damage, no, 7 damage. And with a lightning bolt, because that's exactly 11 magicka. <laughs> Let's put Seda. And this is kind of game over. Pew, pew. Don't care of any prophecies. Lightning Bolt wins a day. Pretty decent match against a Dragon uh, Imperial. I'm, I'm quite curious to see how we do against Agrodex. <laughs> Speaking of Devil, uh, we're playing against a Legend. Uh, Wielding a Lalu. Most likely it's going to be aggro. Throwing away the big stuff. Frazzled Alphic. That's good. Mm. Let's drop Frazzled Alphic. It'll deal one damage. We need to draw something throwable in order to drop corner club gambler into the shadow lane oh that's that's even better uh we'll drop lunas way because that's currently a tempo breaker for us and we have actually we don't have the brawler coming next and oh a corner club gambler from my opponent into the shadow lane. This is going to be very, very nice. Uh, oh, we've got a lot of good stuff. But I'll have to pop the last ring charge, unfortunately. And I'll use Lightning Bolt to get rid of that Corner Club Gambler. And I'll use my own Corner Club Gambler. This is where the mid-range kicks in. Uh, because it, it, it does very well against Arrow decks. Um, from my testing in, in casual. Hopefully it will do the same here on camera. Uh, 
Goodbye, Fifth Legion Trainer. Okay, with the hand cultist. Oh, I got four magicka available. <clears throat> you bet on the wrong Let's side. kick some face. That prophecy. Oh, circle initiate. Let's drop. Mournhold Traitor and Seder will basically just throw a three steel sword, three attack steel sword, and do some damage. Now, I'm fairly certain that nope, I was about to say uh, some uh, silence, but no. Okay, what will my opponent do? Go for face right away. Okay, so I will deal with the, with the damn cultists from this lightning bolt prophecy. I need to get rid of that. Oh, we've got a moon gate. Um, I will deal some damage here. Now, should we push more damage or trade? The giant bat needs to go. Like that's certain. I'll go for face. Uh, but first, I'll use a cedar to drop a steel sword and deal with that uh, giant bat. My opponent is down to nine. So what I have now, and let's drop Moongate as well. I have a lot of damage distributed uh, among both lanes. I'm fairly confident that my opponent does not run um, debilitate. <laughs> that will be self sabotage in case of an aggro. La la like this one. And. Where will that makeshift defense drop? It'll drop a shadow lane, I think. No. It got in the field lane. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. Field lane will have to trade for now. Not so favorably. There's no way I can buff those. Actually, I think I made a boo-boo. Could, uh, could have played these. Ah, uh, damn it. I shouldn't have traded the, uh, the Frazzled Alphic. Because I could have, um, once I activated the Moongate... Dropping the brawler and uh, activating the uh, the action, Alunus Way. I would have dealt two damage from Frazzled Alphic, and I would have uh, removed uh, the uh, makeshift defense, uh, throwing four damage to face, leaving my opponent with just three. But shrieking harpy prophecy helps <laughs> save the day, <laughs> and it was a good game. Too, too bad I failed a bit, but all for the better. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know how the deck works. I'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs>